Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we're playing some more Planet Coaster. We are finishing up our western town in Westworld. We're getting close to actually finishing it. Finally, this episode we work on the brothel, we work on the church, and we make a brand new building. And I think I kind of counted after the I finished recording, and I have about four buildings left. I have three buildings that don't have any structure to them, just kind of the foundation. And then I'm going to build a building over the queue to that ride that we built in the last episode, I think it was, that kind of merry-go-round thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, what the name of it is off the top of my head, um, but we, uh, we're we going to build a queue around there, build a, a nice building, and, and I kind of have a really cool idea for that one that uh, hopes, uh, that at least I hope it works. Um, but anyways, there was a big open area here, so I decided I should probably add in another building, and I was kind of inspired to make just like this one little uh, uh, um, um, kind of one tile wide. I guess uh, uh, deck which I think is gonna be pretty cool uh, once again I ended up watching a, a couple youtubers uh, before this episode so I was a little inspired on the roof there's a couple things I'm still missing like I could just end my roof there I could just put like a straight up and down vertical tile like one of the wood tiles the triangle wood tiles I could do that but for whatever reason I just keep forgetting to do that so at some point I will actually do that uh, we end up spending a little bit of time on the this roof and then our game crashes and we have to go back and fix some of it. I tweeted about that one day that if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't, you should follow me on Twitter. I have all kinds of random insights into my life, I guess, or something. I'm trying to be a little more active on Twitter. I, I kind of went through a lull there for a couple months where I tweeted like once a week, which was kind of like, why would anyone follow me? But now I'm trying to tweet a little bit more, not all about games and stuff like that, but we, we do cover quite a bit uh, up to date, like, hey, not going to get Planet Coaster today, hey, not going to be able to do this today or whatever, you know. But anyways, right here about is where my game crashes, right as I start making that entrance and I'm like, ah, crap. Apparently I didn't stop the recording quick enough. I guess you can see how long it takes me to actually stop the recording. So we have to come back here. We have to do a little bit of, of the work uh, once again on this roof. And, and then we go back to that entrance thing without our game crashing. So I decided just to kind of uh, set the entrance off just a little bit. And what's nice is when you're not actually filling the inside of the building, you can do that. Like it, it's only, I think, what, one tile back. Actually, that might be two tiles. I don't, I have to, yeah, it's two millimeter or two meters, sorry, on the grid. And then we build this. Um, and I kind of figured this is going to be like a cargo building, which is kind of funny that we put a deck on it, but um, I think it works. We end up filling in quite a bit of scenery in here, and then later in the episode, I end up adding a little more elevation just so it's not flat. But for the most part, our town is really starting to come together. I'm really excited with how it, it came out. <laughs> here, I'm trying to look for those benches, and I cannot for the life of me find where the freaking benches are. And then the, there you go. Uh, I forgot what those are called, but I use them again. Every time Like I try using them, I'm like, wait a second. I actually remembered, though, now they're actually inside the... Um, the construction or the building tab, uh, not the scenery tab, which mm, I guess makes sense. Um, but I really like how this building came out. I ended up showing my wife this uh, park or this part of the park, specifically this building uh, after this episode, because I was pretty proud of it. I think it came out really, really well. I'm pretty happy with how the church came out. I guess I'm, I'm getting better at the game, most definitely, which, you know, it's been long enough you'd think I'd get better. But I mean, I wasn't bad to begin with, I would have to say. My roof building's getting a little better, and that was kind of like my, my C grade out of it. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with how the Western Town is coming out. I'm looking forward to actually moving on. I think we're going to move on probably to the mining town after this mainly because uh, I think that one's gonna be the next easiest to accomplish. Let's see, we have the Mexican town. That one's gonna require a little research on my part because I, I have uh, I actually lived near Mexico for quite a bit of my life, so I'm actually, you would think, um, pretty uh, affluent when it comes to mar Mexican architecture, but not really. I mean, the big issue is there's not like a scenery tab that says Mexican, you know, like we did with, like at least we had with Western, which made it a little easier for us to figure out what uh, <laughs> what we should build and what we shouldn't build. Um, so I'm going to have to do a lot of, uh, uh, well, at least a little bit of research on that. It's uh, it's mostly, I know it's going to be a, li a lot of whitewashing, a lot of like um man curves i think and stuff like that i don't know we're just gonna have to do some research once again we're just filling in the brothel apparently huh 
I don't remember doing any of this, but yeah, that I really like how the brothel came out. It came out looking really, really good. We decided to add a couple lights just to add a little bit more. And every once in a while, I just kind of look at the building and I'm like, it needs just a little bit more. And I think those lights really just kind of take it over the top. And then once again, we're just trying to add rocks in because the thing is like, the biggest issue I think, you know, anyone has as a nov novice builder is going with a flat ground. Like you don't want your ground to be just straight flat because walk outside, like how, how much of the ground is actually flat. Even when I lived in flat parts of the country, you know, the, the ground isn't always particularly flat. You have rocks and stuff like that. And it's kind of funny, the more I play this, uh, I'm, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy recently and it's kind of funny because as you're running around Final Fantasy, it's like, oh, hey, there's a random rock. Oh, hey, there's a random rock. Oh, hey, here's a little bit of elevation. And it's kind of funny, the more I actually build in this game, the more I appreciate uh, the building uh, of other video games and just like the little uh, things they do just to kind of make the open world feel right. But anyways, here we are once again working on the church. Uh, did I mention that already? But I, I think I did. Um, but we, we decided to go with more of the castle architecture on this because, uh, well, uh, churches tend to be a little more medieval in uh, uh, um, structure wise anyways so we decided I decided I didn't like the red it didn't really fit with the castle uh, but I didn't like the white either so we went with the dark gray and I, I, I like how it came out it fits the roof much 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 better um, and then we end up adding in these nice castle windows that look really really cool and then we add a big door there and we build another deck in here with some steps just because it's like you need to have like a grand entrance into a into a church right you would think I mean although the sides of those doors look a little more fairy tale than I I, I think I noticed but eh, they're fine they'll be okay uh, so we have this nice big deck in and then on the right we end up adding in kind of this like uh, prayer area I guess I kind of built it as like a wedding area ironically enough um, maybe because I just got recently married so it's like oh this would be really cool for photos <laughs> But then here we're just kind of going through the medieval, or sorry, the fairy tale uh, structure stuff, just because it's like I'm not too familiar with all the stuff in the fairy tale structure. So I was kind of trying to figure out what we had, what we could work with um, that would look good for the church. Um, we added in the framing here just because it seems a little unrealistic to have an entrance that big without having like supports. So I add in the wooden supports. They look a little eh right now, but um, when we start adding some more stuff, they look a little bit better. The church isn't my favorite building. I think the brothel came out way, 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 way better if I'm looking at it. And I, you, you can see I keep going back and forth because I'm like, wait, what's this called? <laughs> so trying to find certain pieces sometimes can be a bit difficult. So we keep popping in and out, just trying to figure out what everything's called. And then we just kind of drag it over once again and just kind of make a nice little uh, custom awning. I end up discovering a little later that there actually is an awning that we could have used, but eh, whatever, it works. Um, then we just add in a couple lights here and there. Did I really put a light way up? Um, okay, all right, that looks a little weird, but all right, I guess that works. Um, and then what do we do next? Oh yeah, we got these plants. Yeah, just adding a little green in just kind of adds a little bit of color and I really like how it came out. Um, we end up making this, we put the tree dude up on top, I guess. I, I couldn't really make a cross. There's really nothing. I mean, I guess I could make a straight wooden cross, but I don't know. I'm trying not to offend anyone either. So I decided to go with uh, 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 the tree uh, shield as, I guess, our um, church. So we're the church of the tree or something like that. I don't know. We put a fountain out here. Then we add in a bunch of planaries. And then this is really where we just kind of fill in our garden area. And I, I mean, any good church has to have kind of like this prayer garden area or something like that right so we just kind of add that in and uh oh yeah and then we had that little one in and then we put another tree oh i was actually trying to see if the fountain would fit underneath our awning and it kind of does but not really so i decided to kind of add it in all the way back here i really 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 like with what uh like what we do here in just a second we end up adding a fence around and kind of like block this whole section off. We go back to these porticles and then just kind of use the uh, bottom side of it just to kind of make this nice little iron fence that just kind of goes around the whole thing. And once again, it really just kind of sets it off and looks really, really uh, good. So it's kind of like you come in from the train station, you know, you can't just like walk through the garden, you know, you ha have to kind of approach the garden from, from the front of the church. We end up adding these rocks in again simply because they look better with the gray building and the brick building and stuff like that. And then I add in a couple of these ash trees. 
I, I kind of imagine, you know, if I'm the architecture of the particular church, you know, I'm bringing in some stuff. So I'm bringing in these ash trees from like the Middle East or something like that. I don't know, just to kind of fill it in. And we add some grass as well, at least to the garden area, just because I think it looks a little bit better. And then you see me here just going all through the town, just kind of adding a little bit of elevation. We went a little too quick, so you probably don't see it. And it's really not gonna be that noticeable, but just any sort of elevation change is gonna be better than nothing. And then at this point, I'm like, I need something for underneath our awning. What goes underneath an awning? And I was like, well, I need like, what I really wanted would be like, I probably should have built a stage. I should have taken the wood deck and just put it below that. But we end up just throwing a couple plants down. I try that one, don't like that one. And so we just kind of leave it there. I don't know if you guys have ideas for something Something else I could put under there I'm, I'm open to suggestions we once again end up finding these benches and just kind of add them uh, because of our plants and stuff like that obviously we couldn't fill in the entire side and I think it, it actually sets it off kind of nice not having it straight through and then once again I'm like I need a sign this building needs something else so oh yeah yeah so we end up going through pretty much everything because I'm just trying to find something to add to the top because it's just kind of plain at this point um we try the wheels and the wheels I think look okay, and we may need to add those wheels into one of our other buildings, but they didn't really fit the church. Like why would a church have a bunch of wheels on top? Um, so we end up finding these lights and I started doing them, didn't like them. And then I was like, you know what? They're the best thing we got. So we might as well add them. And it's a little festive. It's a little, you know, villagey, but I think it's okay. And then I just basically wanted one sign. You can see here me trying to build a cross. And it, I mean, it looks all right, it's something special. So I just end up putting a sign down here. Um, Apparently that one was only sideways, but we just put a welcome sign for the front of our church. And then we add in a couple more trees and a couple more rocks and just kind of fill in this left side. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys are enjoying. I apologize. It's been a little while since we got this episode up. But like I said from the beginning, Planet Coaster is always going to be a little more sporadic. So anyways, I'll see you guys next episode. If you liked it, drop a like, go ahead, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.